14 Dawn Trail. As the silence greets us, I shall greet you, saying, This is the last one for the MSQ, for we are on the mission Dawn Trail. Uh, well, this will probably be my last main upload for the release that I've been doing, the schedule. When I'm done with the MSQ for this, I will, if there are things I want to do, I will be doing it once a week as a video during the weekend. Or, you know, more frequent if bigger things happen. I plan on doing the new uh, trials. I will do those when, you know, the raid, I mean, I'll do, I'll be doing those. I will be doing all the job quests, tank healer, range DPS, magic DPS, and all them. And then new story as it comes out, and especially, I do want to do a uh, series of side quests, which are absolutely amazing, but I'll have to go back into the past for those. But, the silence is quite deafening. It is going 8 o'clock my time, I'm done with work for the week, and well, let's just get to this and finish the story. Let's hop in the Dawn Trail. Wokulmut's gaze is firmly fixed on the Meso Terminal. We'll carry out Kakuya's plan. It's our best chance to stop Sveen. It will be dangerous. I shouldn't doubt. We are prepared, I assume. That goes without saying. Come, we head to the Meso Terminal. Yeah. But I have my own free time. We got flight. Yay! I finished the map on my own time, as you can see. I only had like two sections missing. But yeah, let's finish this story. Um, I would give my thoughts of what I'm thinking now, but honestly, well, I'll give it when I actually beat the story. I still gotta do Dawn Trail. God, this place is so deaf. It's mm, it's so dead. You mean, I could solve that by doing this. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, and now I'm gonna turn that off before Square decides to copyright strike me again. Well, oh, claim, not strike. Big difference. I think. Yeah, there. Alright. It's time. My parents are watching over us, I'm sure of it. As is my grandfather. Whatever it takes, we must protect that which we hold dear. I will do my part too. So I got a feeling the entire crew's gonna show up. Because usually they do at the end, but we'll see. Time for a long series of cutscenes. Maybe. No good. Seems we can't simply shut down the Messel Terminal like the others. Not surprising in the least. My mother did tell us its defenses are tight. But she also left me a means of cir circumventing them. A program that will send your souls in the terminal's memory banks. There, therein lies a virtual domain generated by Sphine's memories. So we would venture into this domain and then seek out and stop Sphine. So we have a dungeon. We have one more dungeon. If our souls are transferred in their entirety, dying in the domain would be no different from dying outside of it. There is no guarantee of safe return. Eh, death's no stranger to us. Nevertheless, that is a risk we must take. Yep, it's time, everybody. We've already come this far, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna turn back now. By meeting the Endless, I, I've gained a better understanding of Sphine and the burden she bears. I want to say a few things different, uh, a few things to her when we meet... Uh, yeah, I want to say a few things uh, to her when we meet again. 
if it doesn't make a difference. Well, she deleted her nice self, if we remember. Whatever happens, we won't let Sveen walk uh, her misguided path any longer. It's our duty as the living. It's all I could do to provide support. Mother's instructed me on her program as well as the world within the terminal. I'll keep an eye on your bodies while you're gone. Should, should it come to it, though? I won't hesitate to call on our comrades outside. I'm acutely aware of my limits. All right, so that's how they're gonna get dragged into this. Upon entering the terminal, we will most certainly meet with fierce resistance from its defenses. Then there is Sveen herself. In order to do in, initiate interdimensional fusion, she said that she intends to erase her own memories. What manner of entity she will become as a result, none can say. And if she invokes the key and opens portals to other worlds, she would have access to vast amounts of aether to bring to bear against us. We must prepare for anything. Yeah, question is, is she still going to be all together by the time we get to her? Or are we going to get to her in the nick of time and then her memories just go? Whatever we encounter won't change our objective. We, and it won't change what I'll do. Come on, friends. It's time to settle this. All right, give me my foul dungeon. Level 100, probably. God, that tower is so pretty. Yep, Alexandria. Okay, yeah, let's do this. I'm actually excited. Oh. One second, everybody. I've been doing it for this entire game. Let me do it now. Ooh, right. I can get helometry uh, ones now. Yeah. Um, ooh, the music's picking up. Okay, Alexandria. I'm very, there, that's the castle. All right, let's see. In their darkest hour, the people of Alexandria have found comfort in the belief that physical death is not the end. And through the miracle of Electro, that was, uh, that belief was made reality. Yet everything comes at a price. Determined to sustain the endless Samara at the cost, Sveen has chosen the un unquestionable course of massac ma massacring innocents. Seeking to prevent her from preying upon other reflections, you and your comrades prepare to send your souls into the Messel Terminal, where a virtual domain generated by her memories awaits. Let's do this. Alright, you guys are level 100 and ready to go. Oh, I want to see what this dungeon looks like. FF9 is my jam. If this... Ooh, let me see what it looks like. Oh, I'm actually really excited. Yeah, looks like Alexandria. Better Alexandria. You got a kind of airship. You got the walls, the town, the castle. But all right, uh, this doesn't show me a threat, which means things are gonna go bad. Castle doesn't exactly look the same though, but eh. Um, eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. To the memories of better days, I bid farewell. Oh, she's bleeding her memories as we go. Right, so that's where the date. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now we're good. Oh, wait, I can get rid of this too. All right, we're done with that for the expansion. Have you heard? Princess Sveen is here. Oh, that's- Fire
minute. That's my... Uh, let me turn the volume down just a smidge. Sorry about that. You'll have to forgive me if my combos are a bit off. This is my first session today. That's Princess Fiend's airship. It's a bit tiny. Your smile means all is right with the world. If I smile, it is because you all smile for me. Okay. Tank, not you. I love that move. It's so cool. This doesn't look right. The anti-pirus. Okay. on me okay I had no idea what was going on I was bound to die that was interesting let's try this again and my blood fest is ready 
Volatile memory cache. Now move you forward or are you gonna stay there? Okay, I guess he wants to remain. of war I lay to rest oh this is after the invasion where everything started falling apart oh fire get moved is it lightning yeah yeah okay this is when damn yeah this is when the entire world fell into the um see their downfall and what made Sphine, or what she is now. Alright. Come on. You guys got this. Let's go. I want to see if there's an armor set, because if it's what I'm hoping it is, I'm earning it. Something like, um... Oh, this.
is this when she gets struck by lightning? Yeah, I think that's what we're leading up to is when she was taken down. Alright, everyone, come to me. You'd have like water three. Oh, hello. How you doing? Over here, everybody. Arm blank. Save my moves and stuff. I know there's a boss coming up. Try this. For tanks yet. Corrupted memory cache. I'm a, a Mulgrim. Security breach confirmed. Initiating level five security protocol.
Shield along. Casting. Lucky me, my dream everlasting. And at the last, my final <laughs> endless. Uh oh. Yeah, her memory is. Yeah. He's not gonna remember much when we get to her. She's already. Oh dear. I'm sorry, Sphin, but we're putting you down. You're dead. Give me some cartridges back. Oh, uh, got me one. Yeah, I'm only getting one, aren't I? Yeah. Come on, fellas. Let's talk about this. Okay, jeez. Guys, can you wait? Come here, you. I think this is a accessory dungeon. I'm not They've getting it. They done it. They prepared the queen. We can't give up. Not until we keep complete. Mm hmm. There's only one more big fight. <laughs> Hold on to those cartridges, me. Even if I want to use them, still. 
I can use this because that. For 25 seconds, baby. Dude, let's do a fly, and it won't leave me alone. Oh, away, you. I will murder you. Oh, you are asking for it. I'm missing a cartridge, but I'm fine. Go away. Holy cow, you're the most annoying fly I've known. Alrighty, a good 40 minutes is this dungeon. Oh, going on 30. Oh, you look cool. The Eliminator. Bleeding Edge Technology. I'm afraid of you. See, so yeah, I expect after this dungeon, by the way, to be a lot of cutscenes, a big fight, and cutscene, 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 cutscene. Let's do this. Level 9, ha 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 ha, I get it, Final Fantasy 9. Okay, watch it soar. That is, that's some good Oh, I don't know what the hand does. Okay. Oh. Omega. Got it. Oh, I want to get under that. That I know. Okay, are you Dalek? Exterminating. Yeah, that's a problem. You guys do you. Oh, that's a problem. And then the more you kill, the slower the charge goes. Clever little girl. Um Initiating final attack protocol. You know what? I'm gonna just do this. Back. Arms reach. That's right, I refuse to be pushed. Nope, nope, over here. That hand is just sitting there, and I've been very paranoid. Okay, so. I'm gonna stand with you.
knockback. Uh, I'll stay here. Oh man, I still didn't get to that. Alright, it's the end of the dungeon. Let's go out and style. Castle Alexandria. All right. Yep, this is an accessory dungeon. All right. Well, okay, so it's not 100% worth doing over and over for me. Cutscene time. Yeah, everything's gone now. Meaning, we got murderer now in front of us. An evil, maniacal murderer. Oh wow, it's the Omega Scape! Huh, haven't been here in a long time. Hey, Spain, how you doing? Spain, listen to me, please! I don't think she knows who we are. I'm afraid she's gone. Synchronization will soon be complete. I got a feeling her memories will come out and she'll start coming out sooner or later. Nope. Or not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here's the foul boss of the expansion. Please be the stick. Please be the tower. Please be the... No, it's not. Oh, there she is, right there in the middle, the core. Right there. Huh. Synchronization complete. Data for the Endless Fiend has been overwritten and reconfigured. All shall be well. Henceforth and in perpetuity. It looks like a heartless. Kind of. Forever will I keep and cherish my people. To that end, I have removed the remaining checks upon my authority. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Uh... Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. I love how oh, wait. she. I still have it separate. Be gone from my presence. I love how she's getting rid of them, but not me. You could easily just got rid of me. Just saying. All right. It's just up to me and myself and I and other me. And then there's the other me, then the other me. According to Eliminator's battle data, oh. you pose the single greatest threat. Oh, is this why you didn't get rid of me? You want to actually get rid of me. As such, you will be erased here and now. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah, Sphine's right there. It's time to call upon myself. I am the bearer of the memories of Queen Sphine of Alexandria, and my desire to protect my people transcends all others. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, 
Could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. Oh, wait, are we using the echo or are we looking inside is the machine? Is that concern or suspicion? Oh no, this is still a <laughs> memory. If things should take a turn for the worse, I have no idea what just happened. Are my hedgehogs awake? I'm hearing a little thumpy thumpy over there. I'll check it later. Uh, I'm shutting you down. Ooh, the music. Obstructions to the plan will be summarily removed. I will love this like a take on the final theme for our FF9. Oh, 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 that's the key. Yeah, I kind of need that. Oh, she's gonna use that to get rid of me? All right, so remember how I kept saying I'm gonna count on myself? This is where it comes from. time. Listen, I've beaten Hades, I've beaten that weird thing in the sky, I've beaten Nidhogg, I could beat you. So, a uh, quick summary. Uh, lolly, 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 in the past everyone was Ascian, blah blah blah, everyone got split into different parts and each part went to different shards. I'm bringing myself together. Calling upon myself of all shards. And this one I have to do with people. I'm gonna take that off just in case the other person wants to tank, because I'd hate to intrude on that. But... The Interfos. A world free of suffering and loss, the earnest wish made by the young Queen Sphine in her final moments was realized centuries later in the form of living memory, the twisted paradise behind the legend of the Gold City. In order to obtain the Aether needed to sustain the sanctuary's recreated residence, Sphine has shed her conscience. The memories she had as a living person to arise as to arise as within the Mastal Terminals, a terrifying entity possessed of absolute authority. Thus empowered now, she seeks to initiate interdimensional fusion and harvest the life force of the people in a uh, Galway used to fly in worlds and falls to stop her before untold lives are sacrificed. I don't know how long Q is going to be, so as usual, I will cut out what I need to. Should I do just skill instead? Yeah, I'll just do that. Go away, you stupid fly. I swear you are annoying. <laughs> Alright. So this is the first piece of content I'm doing with people. For this expansion. A new recording. And let me tell you, I am... Um... Ooh. Let me say it's probably oh, my bad. I'm in a different tab. There we go. I don't know how well this is going to go. I'm not going to lie. Sorry if I keep alt tabbing out. Oh, people are messaging me in the uh, Discord. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, I will momentarily pause the recording until my Q pops. I'm going to laugh if Q pops as soon as I pause it. Well, everyone. Oh, it's time. Do this.
this is the song. By the way, I was only queued for about three more minutes. Man, this is a pretty nice theme. I really like it. I like these types of songs, like Fantasy Star Online 2 soundtrack. Mm, pretty good. I like some of those songs. Shame that game technically no longer exists since NG, which is a huge disappointment. I know technically 2 still exists, but it doesn't get updated or anything anymore. It doesn't even have its events. Can I go now? Come on. And the question is, am I going to be the MT or is the other person the MT? Because I'll MT. I just want to make sure they don't want to. All right, let's see the cutscene, shall we? Because now it's battle time. The worlds have been breached. Be at ease, everyone. Your ether will soon be replenished. Queen Eternal. I'm gonna have to. Oh, hey, look at that. Another gunbreaker. Perfect. Oh, yeah, let me open up chat. I will suffer no interference. Oh, whoops. Disappear. Hello there. Alright, let's do this. Oh, cracking my knuckles. I'm ready, baby. Let's do this. He wants to MT. I'll let him MT. Greetings and I have no idea what's happening. I now know what's happening. Alright, follow everybody. Oh, um, what? This is the freaking. Oh, you want to stay away from the wave, but she basically killed. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's a really cool looking move, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, MT. Mayo Dante here. Oh, excuse me, what's that? Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna chase individual people. Oh, that tank buster looks awesome. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want, don't want. Do not be afraid of it. is not the end. I am crying right now. <laughs> I'm doing this one, baby. I'm, no. I'm the off tank. I'm just gonna give my heal. Um. Look at that. Oh wait, what the? Oh, this sucked. No way. Oh, I just screwed up my combo. Oh, Jesus. Right there. My 
bad. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I screwed up. I already know I screwed up. I can't do anything to negate your damage, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. immediately. I do not want to get aggro. He is now the man. Nope, nope, nope. Are you 
doesn't seem good at all. Go, 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 go. We're doing this again. Do not heal. Is this a rift in reality? Um, she lost control of the power? Uh-oh. Sting! Listen to me! Where did you come from? You were sent now. How do you come back? I understand. I do. And I know that you won't be swayed from your course. There's truly no other way to resolve this. Then face me. Not as a machine, but as the real you. Man, the lip syncing in that part is not that good. Lama G. Hey, hey, she's remembering. Guess I'll give it to you. And I'll say GG. Mm. Also got to be on that one guy who wasn't a fan of Wuklamut, because they're like, oh boy, can't wait to hear her speak again. Meanwhile, I just can't wait to get to the end. Time for a series of cutscenes. If it wants to load, I swear if you DC me, I'm going to be very mad. Ooh, I don't want to redo the battle. It's taking too long. We're starting a war. Okay, now I'm not, uh, Come on. You can do it, game. Man, anticlimactic. Come on. Game. Wake up. I swear if it DCs and I have to redo the battle... Okay. Alright, I'll shut up. Steam!
Your voice reached me, Lamachi. Is it... Is it really you? Yeah, I'll be her as much her can be. No, only in part. My memories as a living person are gone. I've been remade from those I had as an endless. However, I cannot remain long, for the Meso Terminal will soon cease to function. Once, you wanted to know me, Lamachi. Let my last act be to give an honest accounting. I am, above all, sorry for the suffering I've caused your people and mine. I am ultimately powerless against the inevitable, unable to do aught but visit harm upon the innocent. I am, in the end, a pitiful, selfish creature. One that should never have been created. <clears throat> you strove to make your people happy. Nations are worlds apart, but they feel so close. Who knows what we could have accomplished had we walked together towards a shared future. And yet, it could never be so. We each had our own to protect. Yeah, as soon as she entered our realm, she was going to start sucking mm. Aether anyways. If only I had met you when I was still alive, then perhaps. <laughs> but it's no use dwelling upon a miracle that didn't happen. Still, if there's one thing I hope you'll believe, it is this. Brief though it was, I treasured our time together. It pains me to think that its memory will disappear along with me. I know I have no right to ask this of you, but when I'm gone, and fist clench, my people, will you? Oh, no fist clench. Well, they're we'll looking at fists. We'll take care of them. Don't worry. And we will never forget the Endless. Neither them, nor the time we spent with you. So be free of your burdens, Sveen. And sleep well. We go. We got it. Spain. Farewell, my beloved Alexandria. 
We will keep Alexandria strong. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, we're all unconscious on the floor. <laughs> Forgot about that detail. <laughs> Thank Aaronville for uh, watching us. Woohoo. And I forgot our spirits were getting separated from our bodies. Hey, somehow we brought the key out with us. Now... Goodbye. This place is entirely lifeless now. All that remains are the animals. And the plants. Yep. Well. That was the end of Dawn Trail, everybody. So it was that the Meso Terminal felt dark, and the Endless departed for Oblivion's embrace. Their resplendent paradise was no more, as the memory sustaining it faded with the golden light. Even so, in a way, they live on. This I felt with conviction as I passed in the glow of a new dawn. I'm like, God, just running there. And we're all returning back from once we came. I believe the elf in the voice act of this YouTube. I remember I saw that correctly one time. It remains to be seen how interdimensional fusion may have affected other reflections. Kyle's parents spoke of the power's capacity for both good and evil. I cannot help but wonder how Sveen's deeds will be remembered by those they touched. Hmm. The key that started it all was entrusted to the adventurer. Such an artifact certainly lies within the science realm of expertise, and no objection was raised to their retaining it for research. Someone's gonna steal it from us. I already see it, man. In the future, that key's gonna do something. Hey, Thancred. Hey, By Ronjay. order of Vau Kona, the Sky Deep Cenote was placed under the strict watch of the Landscart. Oh, I'd say you pronounce it Cenote. Man, I'm bad at things. I'm calling it Cenote. <laughs> With the mighty Bakuljaja among their number, they shall not want for strength, even in Soralja's absence. Upon learning of their queen's passing, the people of Alexandria mourned and wept. 
having devoted herself to sparing them sorrow, the sight might well have moved Sveen to tears. However, with Wuklamat carrying on her legacy, I have faith that her subjects will know joy once more. As anticipated, the news that young Gululja had succeeded his father as king was greeted with trepidation. Reception was also mixed when Wuklama came forward to name herself as the boy's guardian. But the people were mollified to learn that Everkeep's systems remained operational and there would be no impact on their lives. One day, when he is older, Kalulja will decide for himself what manner of ruler he will be. Till that day and beyond, May the path of the young king be illuminated by the love of family. Out of every expansion ending song for the last cutscene, this is my least favorite. Meanwhile, in Tuliola, the people came together to hail their new dawn servant's great victory. Hey, look, they're carrying the flow and tacos and all that. Having honored those they lost, they turned their attention to a brighter future and celebrated for three days and nights. Oh, hey, they're finally eating those items that they ate in the beginning cutscene. Hey, Stinian, the guy who appeared three times this expansion. Not everything had been resolved, though. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. Those who had spent 30 years in the dome struggled to resume their former lives. This and a host of other challenges remained. the new dawn servants continue to lead with strength and wisdom, the people may be assured that peace will endure. Like I said, my least favorite 
There we go. That was my least favorite final cutscene song. Shadowbringers ruled. But, well, this is gonna get copyrights claimed, not struck, which, hey, whatever. I guess I would bid you adieu. But I'm gonna skip this because usually there's a, a scene at the end. And I think. Do we need to see the credits? Eh, why not? I guess right now I can give my thoughts on the expansion in whole, eh? So. I will say this real quick. I'm glad I did not go with Viper or Pictomancer. Mostly because of a Viper just got remade entirely of what it does and how it functions. So apparently, I personally don't know. I don't do the forums or anything. I just play. But I guess either people weren't happy or they weren't happy with the way it functioned. I know they took out Gnashing Fang and they took out the debuff that would give. And I know that they changed a bunch of uh, potencies for it. So yeah, I'm glad to not do Viper. I'm happy for... This is the second expansion. I've stuck with Tank. Though the first one I had very long hiatus afterwards. Um, now time for the general things. The story, for the most part, I quite enjoyed. It had some slow points and this and that. My least favorite part was a uh, MacGuffin earring, just Deus Ex earring. Earring puts you in, like the earring holds the key that will open the teleporter that to the Golden City. And that is how we're going to get there. Just the earring itself, MacGuffin earring. And that's the only thing I found stupid. I liked how with the, it started slow, which there's nothing wrong if they do it right. I liked how we went to each single place, the Pelu Pelu, the Halu Hanu, and all that, and we saw what they did, did their trials. Hmm. Yeah. I liked how you saw how each tribe is different. And then you have, I forgot what the, the, the goblins are called. <laughs> With their pots worn. Um, personally, Wukwu Lamont was a decent character, and I've said this multiple times throughout the entire playthrough, you can go back and quote me on this. She is not as annoying as Lise. My god, Lise would drive me up a bloody wall. I absolutely hate Lise. Stormblood, which is a shame. I really like Stormblood, but I absolutely hated Lise. She was unbearable. Um, Kona I like more than, uh... Walk them up personally. I like Kona way more. So I personally wish we got more scenes of Orion J. Thankward and him together, but hey, you can't get everything you want in an expansion, sadly. Um, from what I'm playing, healers feel like they still need something personally. The few battles, the dungeons, I will start with dungeons. I really like the dungeons and how instead of being horizontal, they were more vertical in a lot of ways. Especially the mountain one, that one was pretty cool. I really like the one where we're going through the wall. That one was nice. And then of course that last dungeon where we're going through the digital Alexandria. The fights, the trial, the bosses, but some of the bosses actually got me. Like, they had some different and decent mechanics. I, I, because I have done Savage, and they might have been in the game before, but I have not seen some of those mechanics before. Like the snake guy on the wall, where it will show his slashes, but he will keep slashing in with the curves. Very cool. Now time for the actual, like, uh, uh, trial fights. Uh, for the most part, Villa Gramanda, it was okay. I really liked how he would change the arena, different attacks, environmental hazards. That was cool. I can only match it with that's like on Savage. And then you had uh, Zoroja. 
god, I can only imagine the nightmare he is. But that was a fun fight, Sorolja. Especially because the imagery of that fight when he's killing his humanity. And then when he becomes that monster, he's the head of resolve. And there's no head of reason. There's no more reason in him. I like that. I like that imagery. I personally do. That last fight we just did with the, uh, I forgot what it's called already. Jesus. But that fight was... Listen, I sucked at that fight. I'm shocked I didn't die as much as I did. But I really liked that fight. The theme too. Like, the music in this expansion has mostly been hits for me. I like the jazzy tones of the main cities. I love the battle themes, the dungeon themes. Listen, I'm a sucker for good music. And the music in this expansion, pretty good. Except that final cutscene that we had, that song in the background, I did not like that. Personally, did not like it. Nah. Um, the theme for this expansion, which just got done playing, that I was talking over, that you can hear in the trailer, which would be in my first episode, or you could just look it up on YouTube personally. That theme is really good. I still person, I still don't even know Shad Endwalker's theme because I skipped that entire story after coming off a two and a half year hiatus because I just had the game. So I'm not going to include that one. Uh, but I remember I absolutely love Shadowbringers. Oh, Shadowbringers is awesome. That theme is good. Um, anything else I want to talk about? I guess, uh, the new environments. Uh, some of them are really cool. Uh, Yakoi did not care for theirs, really. It's just a mountain area with some fire and slash marks. Didn't really care for it. Uh, the lizard people, I forget their name. You're going to have to forgive me. Uh, the Forest of Blue, absolutely beautiful. Uh, then you have those people that we're seeing now, generic area, but the main point of that area is the area between the lizard people and those people where there's that battle, and that is the area, mostly for story reasons, where you walk in and you're like, oh god, man. Like, so that one, it gets you. Then you have Solution 9, which then is like, hey, Fancy Star, I'm gonna copy your homework. Bam, you're in the bloody future, everything looks awesome, you really like the music, the style, everything, the purple. I'm a big sucker for purple or a nice dark blue. Favorite color. Um... Tuliolo, I like the style of it, the music of it. The layout, well, it is known for, you know, its verticality, because it's a mountain city, so, yeah. Um... But then we have... The Dream Place, which I now forget the name of. You have to forgive me, I'm getting a little tired. That area was absolutely beautiful for what it was, the City of Gold. But then as you keep shutting one down... It just becomes quiet, lifeless, empty. For there are no more endless, no more people being dreamt up, thinking, you know, being there. Which really add, like, you first go to that place, and you're like, I'm literally in a dream. The music reminds me of Twilight Town from Kingdom Hearts 2, just a little bit at the beginning of it. And... It is unbelievable because it isn't real. And then as you shut down, you start to realize the place actually is just an empty husk of Electrope. Then my main thing is I am absolutely happy Final Fantasy IX is in the game. But I do not count this as canon for FF9 at all. No, 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 no. I like the references, the Life of Tree being the uh, Gardens of Terminal, Alexandria, the style of it. The castle was wrong, just saying that now, but then again, I'm pretty sure it's the future. They adjust the castle, and we all know what happens in 9 and all that. Uh, I like the subtle hints of Alexandria, like when Otis laughed, he laughs like Steiner from FF9, hand on hip, throwing himself backwards. Then you have some hints of FF9 music and all that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, that area was decent. I like westerns, but 
Yeah, it was okay. That was more of a lull in the story, personally. That part where we're saving him from the crooked lawman. That felt more, eh, I mean, it's okay, I guess. The only part that was important is fixing the train. Because, like, at first I thought we had, there's a bomb on that train. No, we just sent that train almost to its doom. Uh, I thought the idea of endless and all that was really cool. And then, oh no, what are they called? The things, the regulators, the thing you wear in your head. I find it interesting with souls as a currency to bring you back and all that. Mm, yeah. How much more can think of? But yeah, in the most part, I enjoyed the story. I had maybe a couple issues with it. Had some lulls. But in the end, it's a nice, simple story where you're not doing a galactic... Well, technically, by the end, it was a galactic threat, but... First, it was the right succession. Then it became that, slowly. But, in the end... So I am gonna say my final words, and... Then let the credits finish rolling. I think we're only halfway through, because we're about to ram into the wall. But in the end, I enjoyed the story of this expansion, some of the characters and everything, the environments, the dungeons, the music. I had some faults with it. Eh. No expansion's perfect. Like, Stormblood to me, really good. At least isn't. Heck, the ending of Stormblood, if you get to the third or fourth patch, is really sad. Oh, they work it up, too. And then Heaven's Ward. You might be like, that is the best expansion of the game. And guess what? I don't remember Heaven's Ward, really. I remember I started FF9, burnt out because the quest. Then I started Heaven's Ward again, burnt out, went back. And by the time I beat Heaven's Ward, Stormblood was out. Yeah, it's a whole thing. No. No, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't do ratings. I'll just say I enjoyed this expansion for what it was. I wish it did a little more in some areas and I wish it did other things. But, hey, what can you do, am I right? But yeah. I guess I'll end it here. Well, for me, for you, it's gonna keep going. Usually there's a cutscene at the end of the credits. But I shall leave you to remember this will be continued, but not we, uh, not the uh, schedule. This is now going once a week. But yeah. I'll see you another time. Until then. This has been goodbye. Farewell. <laughs> That makes sense, right? All right, see ya.
I'm sorry, we haven't been able to talk properly. Oh, between the reconstruction work and Papa's funeral, I've hardly had time to breathe. But at long last, oh, there's a lull in my duties. You've done more for us than we could ever hope to repay. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. When we left the Orsia behind to take part in the contest, none of us could have predicted what complications would follow. You truly have a knack for finding trouble, my friend. And you wouldn't have it any other way. So what's next for you? Assuming you're still set on leaving the Gleaner's life behind? I'm off to fulfill my mother's dream, of course. Like she had intended, I'll embark on a journey in search of the unknown. She's sure to enjoy my stories when we meet again in the Ethereal Sea. Well, well, sounds like a plan. But will you have the coin to get by? I may no longer be a cleaner, but I still have contacts in Charlien. Contacts with deep pockets, Always eager to pay for information on new or rare species. Hmm. You've got it all worked out. And what of you? Any new adventures in the offing? Regardless, until you're ready to leave, you're our guest here in Tulijolal. And this time, I won't pester you to take up a post. <laughs> Bye now. I know you well enough to know you can't stay in one place. No more than you can ignore the plight of those in need. Your path will always lead you elsewhere, and you'll continue walking it. Isn't that so? An adventurer to the marrow you are. What is it exactly that spurs you on? Oh, well, it seems like I've come back. Uh, all the sights I've yet to see. That is, that is her receptor. The, 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 that's her receptor, isn't it? She's coming back. All right, we know what's happening. Well, as much as I'd love to keep chatting, I need to get going. Still a heap of things to do and wouldn't do to leave it all to Kona. By the way, did Gulusha decide to remain in Solution 9? He did. I said that he can consider Tuliolo his home, but he's more comfortable over there. Shale keeps on him for us. But we'll visit him as often as, uh, as we can. We still, He still needs our support, especially when he's agonizing over his inherited authority. Though I told him he needed to make a decision right away, we can't postpone it forever either. I'll do whatever I can to help Galusia as well as everyone inside the dome. I promise as much as Fiend. For my part, I'll be keeping to Turil for a time. Among other things, I'd like to look for the problem with the wildlife in Shaloni. So if you get the urge, Bader, let's go on another adventure together. There's still plenty of places I'd like to show you. Now, that sounds like fun. If you ever need me, I'll come running. Oh, and before I forget, I have a gift for you. Can guess what it is? No, I, oh, alpaca? There it is. I finally got an alpaca. It comes from Tolby Stables. Stable, of course, as sure-footed as they come. Perfect for an adventurer who's always on the move, eh? Here's the whistle to call it. Man. By the way, I wasn't expecting the credits to last almost an uh, uh, like 50 minutes. All right, I'll get going. I'll really get going now, but, uh, okay. So 
smile. I am never using that. I absolutely do not like that song at all. And... Oh, wait. Right, this is probably showing me the, the raid is open. The trial, we're gonna call it. It's like an arena, isn't it? Yeah, the lights are gonna light up. Depression. Sadness. Guilt. Anxiety. Fellow citizens of Alexandria, ever since our beloved queen's passing, you understandably abided in grief. Sorrow darkens your once bright faces. But is this what her majesty would have wished to see? No, most assuredly not. You know this to be true. If you are to honor her memory, we must reclaim our smiles to that end. Yep. The graphics card is turned on. Oh no, it's a Lollafell. That's right, friends. After a long hiatus, I'm pleased to announce the grand reopening of the Arcadian. With a terrible mustache to boo, the realm's finest fighters stand ready to entertain you in glorious and thrilling combat. Come and join us, I bid you, and let your cares be forgotten. And that's another episode for another day. As skies of flame proclaim night's end, and thoughts unto unto adventures tend, the bra ah, of course you go quickly. You have completed the main scenario. Yep. To be continued. Yay. I could throw this out. I'll use it. Oh. There we go. Wait a second. Well, well, well. It isn't you, but I am done. I'm going to call it. This has been on for a while, and like 50, 60 minutes was credits. But now, next time, I will be unlocking the trials. I'll be doing other things offline, trying to grind things up. My class is otherwise to do the job quests. Uh, let's see. Uncouth customers. A bunch of other things, but... Hey, whatever. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until then... Well, I'll see you on Saturday. But until then, bye.